What is a good fighting game? That can mean a lot of things for everybody. Some people like games where they can pull off stupid long ass combos and make their opponents cry. Some people like the Mortal Kombat, some people like the Smash type. It doesn't really matter. The point is, a good fighting game should have a roster that can vary your gameplay and some good maps as well. Now, out of all the game genres, I love the fighting game and what it can mean for some competitive gameplay. And while there are a lot of new IPs being developed in the fighting scene, the ones that tend to do well are already pre-established ones. We gotta thank Player First Games for adding my boy Jake. Even though new fighting games come out every year basically, I truly believe that the best ones have been here for quite a while. Then go buy sheets. Would you rather be at home shooting a bazooka or watching a chick flick? Mm -hmm. Chick flick, bazooka. Chick flick, bazooka. Let me in, Brad. Let me in. <laughs> We're now at 1994, the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. This is the fourth generation of consoles. Then fucking Tomba comes out and it's over. When the PlayStation 1 dropped in September of 1995, the games that came were fucking hot. And with that, a bunch of fucking fighting games. They got shit like Bushido Blade, Bloody War, Gundam Battle Assault 2, which is inferior to Robo Pit, Mortal Kombat, Tekken. There was absolutely no end to all the new shit coming out, but that begs the question. What's stuck on the old 4th gen hardware? <laughs> Definitely not this. Let's be real. Anything before the Super Nintendo and Genesis does not count. Not to say that there are only bad games that reside in these systems. I just believe that most games resembling anything of modern day fighters are more on the Super Nintendo. But to be very clear, many fighting games around this time do not have the fluid controls we are used to today. So do not expect to be able to pull off wombo combos so easily. Controls from almost every game that isn't a 2D platformer ages either like fine wine or horse shit. See, some games actually aged all right, and that's good. But then we get disasters like Pit Fighter. This is one of the worst games. Now hiding in the extensive library of the Super Nintendo is a game that I think is not only overlooked, but is better than any fighting game we've ever seen to this day. And that game is Shaq Fu. Now I would love to cover a good game, but sadly, that is not on the roster today. The real game we're looking at is Developed by PF Magic and published by Accolade, Paul's 3D would release on the Super Nintendo and Genesis to ultimate failure. Well, I couldn't possibly see why. Let's pop this game open. Oi. Ah. Oi. Ah. <laughs> Without picking up a controller, you can tell that this game has some spice. This was the 80s, so it was crass and crude humor all the way. But this sh was absolutely overbearing. Just listen to how much sh you hear in five seconds. The fighting is funny. It goes from normal to I'm a fucking tornado. Now Nintendo's PC, so they can't have balls. They have to play them. The phrase change does really nothing for me, but I mean, you know, play with balls. Let's read up a little bit. Even the manual doesn't know exactly what's going on here. It just says who cares. I don't. Given that we are gladiators from another world, sadly it appears that the balls cast is rather generic. Primal Spongebob. Reddit user. Chad. Diversity. Kung Fu Panda. Oh no. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. Each of these characters has different special attacks and they promote different play styles. I take a liking the Kronk. He's the simplest to play and all the other ones are so weird and fidgety. Yet I beat the game with Tsunami. In this game, we are fighting the Jester. He's the head honcho of four bosses. In Ostrich, you have to fight a flamingo. This guy is bullshit. This game, even on easy mode, the AI is absolutely cheating. Flamingo man over here can just throw you everywhere. I command you to stop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, I'm actually hitting, I'm actually hitting, I'm hitting, I'm, hitting, I'm, hitting, I'm doing it, I'm getting it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I have to jump, I have to jump. Oh my god, oh my god, no! Bitch. 
I swear to God, if I get thrown again, I'm gonna sh- Oh. After learning the secret powers, I finally overtook the ostrich. What, what did I just do? Warp in the turbo. What? What? Oh my god. We're so close, we're so close. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! 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 Let's just go! Only pain remains. Three more bosses. The controls in this game are absolutely abysmal. They obviously went for looks over comfort. This game has a little bit to it though, considering that the previous bearer of my balls copy left behind a bunch of notes, including for morphs, which I didn't even know existed and couldn't get to work. The controls are sluggish. If any move requires you to press up or down, the attack is most likely not going to work. This makes successful attacks absolutely satisfying, but it doesn't matter because the CPU is always seven steps ahead of you. What saves this game from landfill status is its looks and its fire soundtrack. With these soundtracks, I was motivated to keep on fighting. I only had three more to go. Just have to fight Sniper's Wife, Baby Dinosaur, and Will Smith. I beat Mario Strikers Battle League blindfolded. This should be easy. Come on, bro. Every single time. Nope, he's just gonna pick me up again. Super Mario me down. I going to... That was a new move. He just invented a new move. God, I might actually win one game. We might actually see one game of one. What? Are you- oh. No, my god. Why, 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 why? Come on. Come on. Oh, my god. One last kick. Yes! That wasn't even a boss. Um. What? Oh no, not again. Doing this again. I I I am just stuck now. Yes! Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, blue <gasps> Will Smith. doesn't work you what he he comes back no we have a chance we have a chance and he stop with this shit this the cryptic manual i'm looking this shit up i can't I can't do this. I I can't. He just keeps. Oh my god! He just keeps rolling on the ground. I. Oh. Performing taunts increases your damage output, which is the only reason why I was doing it so much, and the only reason why I won this fight. Oh my god, I did it. I have to play the game again? Morph! Summon the power of scorpions.
<laughs> you think you're gonna win? Nope. Fun fact about this character, if you swap over to anything, you gain full health for doing the full morph. Not that you can. I beat Jester only to get sent back to the first fight again. It turns out this is just a never-ending loop. The CPUs are unnecessarily difficult, especially considering how bad the controls are. This game is almost button mashing. Unlike other fighters, not only do they not give you the moves list on pause screen, they also don't give it to you in the manual. And apart from a few tracks, the sound design overall is just absolutely bad. So what's the saving grace? The experience. A game doesn't have to be good to be enjoyable. Any licensed kids game or shovelware can be enjoyable. While it's up to the player to like or dislike me personally, I see a lot in this game. Not to say that it should go online and get remade, but everyone should experience this game at least once. Now I have more shitty games to play. And until next time, lip.